Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, we're gonna react again to Dr. Zucker Nike today with the video in Somalia. A 112-year-old Muslim man married a 13-year-old girl. How can Islam allow such a marriage? This is of course a very heated subject. Many anti-Islamists use the age of Aisha, for example, to make a point against Islam. Islam. They say that Islam has no real moral values even because it doesn't adhere to the same values as their Western society. So I believe that this video coming from Dr. Zakir Naik should give us some clarification. With no further ado, let's have a look. Uh, Shalom. Shalom. I'm Danny. Uh, I'm a student. I read Bible, studying more about the biblical manners, understanding. And I do read uh, Muslim books. Uh, now, I'm not relating to Muslim all the books. person what Bible and Quran has. Uh, this is something related to my friend who is my best friend. His name is, uh, uh, no, don't want to take it, sorry. Now, he is married and due to some reason, uh, he's uh, planning to divorce his wife. And I find it out that that was a very small reason that he wants to divorce his wife. And secondly, uh, yesterday I was just reading this Mumbai Mirror at midday. That 112 years old guy, uh, Muhammad from Somalia, he's uh, getting married, or oh, sorry, get, got married to this 13 year old girl, Safiya. And I was very disturbed to answer my friend because I just asked one of my friends and he told, This is what we learn, and this is what we return, and this is what we follow. So I just went on to the internet as is that this is the easiest way I see. Mm -hmm because I uh, don't get a chance like a uh, Zakir brother for you to uh, question it. <laughs> so just I'll just read it for you for, if you give me a chance to read it from uh, what I found it from the internet. Zakir Naik mastered this, the getting up uh, of the chairman. The justification and the relationship <laughs> which Muhammad had. Is that a true or you just help me out to come out of this issue and I can go to my friend and say that this is what exactly the Quran teaches. I'll read it do you for want you, to read or do you want me to answer? I'll just read it first for you. But you aren't satisfied with the answer, no? Uh, whatever. You may say, hope I answer so the question. Not with the answer. No, hope so you So what say. the paper says, forget about it. Okay. If you are satisfied with the answer what you have in your hand, then that's uh, sufficient. Actually, if you are not I satisfied, I'll give you the answer directly. Uh, just let me read it. Okay, no. okay, take care. Brother, no brother, put it in just five sentences in precise form, otherwise don't read it. I'll do, th I'll do that for you, sir. Uh, this is actually, let me uh, just quote it uh, from Sahih Bukhari, volume 7, book number 62, which... Uh, uh, Zabir bin Abdullah says, uh, when he got married, uh, Hazrat Muhammad says, what type of lady have you married? He replied, I married to a matron. He said, Muhammad, why don't you have a liking for a virgins and for a fondling them? Zabir also said, Hazrat Muhammad said, why don't you marry a young girl so that you might play with her and she with you? Now, it's, uh, I was like a little bit disturbed. This is the preference of uh, Hazrat Muhammad or after reading Bukhari volume number 5, he you says You are more interested in reading the hadith rather than the question you posed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Correct, no? Uh, I just <laughs> got you it, ask so me I a question, it. I give you the answer. You want to read the answer of somebody else because you want to quote the hadith. Quote directly. Yeah, so because I, I get an answer from you also. That's See, why I'm quoting it. If you. you have two plus two, I don't know the answer. I want to tell what other people said. Why are you bothered? I'll give you the answer directly. It is four. What other people said, seven, eight, ten, forget about it. And that's why I came over here, sir. That's the reason why you're reading somebody else's answer if you're not satisfied. Okay. Correct? Yeah. That means I'll have to comment on both. On the question as well as the answer. Correct? All right. Fair enough. Okay. I'll do both. No problem. <laughs> See, what is the Niyah is important. If your Niyah was to get the answer, why Muhammad, 112 years old, 113 years old, married at 13 years old, the answer I've given you. But you also wanted the answer of Prophet Muhammad, correct? Yeah. Yes, because so directly, safe. what do you have to say? I'm not satisfied with the answer given on the internet, given on the paper. Directly ask the question on the hadith rather than beating around the bush. I'll give both the answers. 
Okay. I'll give both the answers. Hope I may satisfy with your answers too. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yes, that depends upon you. If yes, I sir. say two plus equal to four, you said no, it is five. I can't help it. I'll I'll take it what you say, but I'll believe what I can believe it. Sure, sure. You have to believe what you believe. You can't believe what I believe until you believe what I believe. True, sir. Because it's not law of contradiction. <laughs> Sorry. Please go ahead. Sorry, what did you say? Please go ahead uh, because I want to know the answer yes. from you. As far as Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is concerned, fine. I'll come to it later on regarding the man by the name of Muhammad. You said, no? Yeah, because it's just some person from African country, Somalia. Country, Somalia. From Somalia, 112 years old, you said? Yeah. Married a girl of 13 years old. Yes, sir. And In he's a fifth marriage. Fifth marriage. Yeah. Fifth marriage? Yes, not, sir. Not five together, maybe one he married uh, and divorced. Fifth, and fifth I said. Uh, yes. The Pachwa Shadi. Pachwa Shadi, but ek doko divorce divorced, you can't have At any given time, you can't have more than four. Now, coming to the answer, why? In Islam, you can marry a woman the moment she gets matured. If she reaches puberty, you can marry. Yeah. That is Islam. Fine? A woman to marry. For a man, the moment he reaches puberty, till he dies. He can marry anyone. Choice is his. Would you marry a woman 15 years older to you? No. No. Your choice. But the Prophet Muhammad married. His choice. Okay. Prophet Muhammad at the age of 25 married a woman, Hazrat Khatija, may Allah be peace with her, who was 40 years old. You will not marry. I will not tell you you have to marry. It is your choice. Right. Now he wanted to marry. This is something that you can't even discuss in the West, let alone on YouTube. This is why I have to be very, very careful by even watching such material and then reacting to it. But that being said, if you are a Darwinist, that's all I'm going to say. We're not going to talk about religion. If you're a Darwinist, you believe in evolution, then you must believe that once the point of fertility is reached in males and in females, they are ready to go. They are fertile. They're ready to prove create scientifically biologically evolutionary so you as an atheist as a darwinist as a westerner that bought into the scientific mindset you cannot even debate that this is immoral because it is biologically true once a woman reaches puberty she is ready and i know women personally that reach puberty with 12 with 13 some with 16 some even later but by the biological default those women are ready for s for procreation and even further for marriage then there is absolutely no reasoning against it coming from an atheist perspective that's all i'm going to say here on this platform and 15 years older to her because she was pious who are we to object He's willing and the woman is willing. Because uh, Wait, wait. Let me answer. Please don't interrupt. You pose the question. I said sorry, sir. <laughs> yes, and I accept it. No problem. I said sorry, so I can interrupt. So the husband and wife, who are we to object? That woman wants to cover her head. You said don't cover the head. Are why? Are she wants to cover her head and the president of France said women should not cover that. Why? Me, he wants to enjoy seeing women, he can go on the Miami beach. Why does he want to do it in France? Doesn't it make sense? Subjugating, that woman doesn't feel subjugated. He's feeling subjugated. Why? He's feeling subjugated because he cannot enjoy women. He cannot enjoy the lust. So the problem is in him, not in the woman covering the head. Sure. But the man is 112 years old. Medical science tells us even a man of 112 years can procreate. Yeah, true. Can give birth to a child. True? Yes, sir. Yes, I'm a medical doctor. No, he wants to marry a 13-year-old girl who has reached puberty. What is your problem? You don't give your daughter to him. Who no, don't give? Am I telling you? Am I telling your sister to marry? Again, I'm not saying this is right or wrong. That is for you to decide. However, looking at it from certain perspectives, you will have to understand what your position is first before you critique such a stance. Again, if you're an atheist, for example, you have no moral grounding anyways. There is no grounding other than society. And therefore, you would say in our society, a 112-year-old cannot marry a 13-year-old because society said so. That is circular reasoning, of course, circular arguing. There is absolutely no reason reality in that statement other than a certain preference within that society whatever that society deems to be correct that is automatically correct however it doesn't really explain what the truth of the matter is so if we look into the society as i already said biologically dr zakarnaik here is correct it is a fact that that 112 year old can have 
can have children with a 13 year old as much as we might dislike it it is a biological fact so now if you don't take the atheistic perspective that is fine then you would take a theistic perspective then you would have to look into your own religion and you would have to see if your religion allows such a marriage or not to be totally honest looking into christianity i don't find any reasoning against that to be honest if i look into judaism i don't find any reasoning against it either so ultimately as you can see no matter which position position we take, theist or atheist, we don't have a true reasoning for it other than we don't like it. No. It's just no, being fair. The parents also agreed and the girl agreed. She may be liking that man. 112 years. What a pious man. Reminds me of the Sahaba. I sacrifice everything because the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that if you marry a spouse, you look for four things. Virtue, nobility, wealth and beauty. The best among this is virtue. Right. And if a woman of 13 years old finds a virtuous man of 112 years, I would prefer if I know he's virtuous, if I know, not any Tom, Dick and Harry. I would not mind giving my daughter if I know that he's a virtuous man and will see to it that he takes my daughter to Jannah, I would not mind. But after verifying, he's such a virtuous man. Remind me of the Saba, the caliber of Hazrat Omar, Hazrat Abu Bakr, Hazrat Usman, Hazrat Ali. May Allah be pleased with them all. Why not? But today we see more for beauty, more for wealth. I'm not saying that the man of Somalia was virtuous. I don't know. I don't know. But can it be possible? Yes. Chances are less. Can it be possible? Yes. Chances are less. Why not? If the girl is willing, therefore I said in my talk, the marriage can only solemnize if the other side to this argument, to be fair, to show both perspectives, would be, of course, that the 13-year-old girl is not in the position of making such a decision of marriage. She might think that this is the right man for her, but how would she truly know? In such cases, you, of course, have the parents that will assist such a decision, but nevertheless, right now, we have this whole discussion with children going through change surgery at a very very young age and the argument against it is of course that there are children that they cannot make up their minds so if we're discussing such subjects we have to take into consideration as well that a 13 year old girl might not really know what she is getting herself into if the man and woman agree that does not mean tomorrow a man even of 50 years come then ask my daughter i will not give if i said he's as virtuous as as the khulfa rashidin i cannot find a better match I cannot find, I cannot find a better match. What you have to realize that maybe that girl found that man to be virtuous. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't interviewed her. I haven't interviewed him. Maybe that man found that girl virtuous. I don't know. So if the man and the woman agreeing, who are you and me to interfere? Why are we trying to interfere their rights? No, you may have married a girl, I don't know. Yeah, well, I can take this argument against Zachary Naik as well, because then I could say, hey, if there is a man and another man, and they both agree that they love each other, who are we to interfere? But we all know from a religious perspective, we are to interfere in society. That is, if such a thing happens in a secular society, in an atheistic society, you're in full acceptance of same marriage but from a religious perspective you are not and then the same argument wouldn't hold true you wouldn't just say yeah let them do what they want it's up to them and we cannot interfere of course you would interfere good or bad we have to be fair you may think she's beautiful someone may think she's ugly and someone That's not the says same. why have you married a sorry i'm not getting personal your wife may be beautiful mashallah but someone comes and objects why have you married an ugly woman you will say what is bothering you I find her to be beautiful. Who are you to interfere? Will you get angry or not? Will you get angry or not? Beauty is subjective. Someone comes and tells you, oh brother, whatever your name is. You know, your wife is so ugly. You said, you mind your own business. That's my wife. Why are you interfering? If That's somebody comes same. and criticizes your wife. We're not discussing beauty, obviously. We're talking about maturity here. If the woman is in the position to make that choice. That is your choice. So as far as that 112 year Somali man is concerned and the 13 year girl is concerned, chances is very negligible, 0.001%. But if both agree, who are we to interfere? Coming to the answer of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that why don't you marry a younger woman, virgin woman? The Prophet may be knowing how that Sahaba is. 
Did the person who came and said that Yeah, I don't find anything shocking about that statement. I have a very good friend of mine. Hello, if you're watching. And he always went for older women. And I always would tell him, man, stay away from those MILFs and get a younger woman. I would always tell him the same thing. Now he finally got a younger woman and he's very, very happy about it. While I'm There's nothing fasting, wrong with that statement. Can I give my wife? The Prophet said, yes, you can. And then the Saba comes, can I give my wife? The Prophet said, no. So the Saba said, first one you said yes, second one you said no. Why? Because he knew that the first man could control his desires. While fasting, even after kissing the wife, he will not go beyond that. The second person, once he kisses his wife, he will break his fast. He will go beyond that. Prophet knew, you don't know, I don't know. Similarly, the Prophet may be knowing that if he marries a matron, maybe yet he will go after beauty. So Prophet advises him. But what did the Prophet do? The first woman he married was 15 years older to him. 15 years which you wouldn't like doing. You just told me that. Yeah, please let me know in the comment section because I heard different sources there and some people say that actually she wasn't 40 but she was 25. Please let me know in the comment section what you think is right. Correct? Yes. So the Prophet, he knows because he found piety in Hazrat Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her. Therefore, she's one of the four pious women in the world. So the Prophet knows. Like I being a doctor, I may give one medicine to one person, second person, second medicine. You ask why am I changing medicine? Because I'm a doctor, I know. You're not a doctor. So the Prophet gives different advice to different people depending upon the situation. You don't know what Prophet knows. And do you think what the Prophet said is wrong? It's right. Some people may like younger girl, some people may like older girl. So what you have to realize that it is nothing wrong. It is advice given by the Prophet. Did he say something which is wrong? No, perfectly right. But see his lifestyle. All the women he married, except for one, only one was virgin. All of them, they were either divorcees or they were widowed. Uh, sir, actually, it's not liking or unliking getting married to 112. Brother, you asked me the question, I give the reply. <laughs> He's angry. I'm asking the question, someone objects. Sir, to but you. how does Quran relate to this people? Which Simple people? Question. Which people? Uh, this people, those who are getting married in this particular area, they're liking or don't liking? They like the something The Quran else. says, do not inherit women against her wishes. Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 19. But if the woman wants and the man wants, who are you and I to prevent? Who are you and I to prevent? What is bothering you? I'm asking the question. If he finds piety in that young lady and that young lady finds piety in that elderly man, what is bothering you and me? Tell me. That is it unmedical? No. Can they procreate? Yes. Yep. What is the problem? That's correct. Imagine someone comes and tells you, why have you married a black woman? Why have you married a white woman? I mean, that's your choice. In Islam, a woman becoming black or white does not make a superior inferior. What right. the Prophet said, the best is virtue. Now, why did the man of Somalia at the age of 112 married 13? I don't know. I'm least really bothered to know. Is it logical? Yes, chances are very less possible. Same thing what the Prophet advised. So I'm asking you the question, if the girl and sure, the... Sure, of course it's not logical because that woman will be widowed. I mean, how long will this man live? 113 years old, he's probably one of the oldest people that ever lived on this world. When will he die? Give him one year, two years, give him even 10 years if you want to. Then that woman would be 23 years old and widowed. Boy, agreeing. Why are you interfering with the choice is my question. Do you have a right to interfere is my question. I'm asking you a question. Do you have a right to interfere when the husband and wife are doing something which they like? It's not going against the Quran. It is not even Jew. Again, it depends. If you take the Quranic stance, then maybe not. But it depends on your position, which society you find yourself in. As I said, the atheist will appeal to his society and to the age of consent. And therefore, then, yes, he would have a right to interfere, of course. It always depends what position you take and how strong your argument is from that position. As I said, even if we break down the atheistic argument, we don't really find a very strong position behind it. Because biologically, what Dr. Zakhar Naik said, here holds true, but societally they would still be in the right. But I think you're right. So my answer? Yes. So again, uh, is their liking or not liking? I'm not interfering in them. They might like 112 years ago, old, uh, old man or 13 years. But my thing is, how this Quran words related to these people? Like they are doing it. What Brother, they're doing it? Did you hear my answer? The reason for criteria to get married is you should reach puberty. Have they reached puberty or not? 
Can a 13 year old girl reach puberty, yes or no? Do you know the answer? No. Can she reach puberty? Uh, 13 years? You don't uh, know science. Your doctor, sir, please tell me. <laughs> in India, <laughs> of yes, course sir. you can. Yeah. In Delhi, the report came if a girl reaches puberty by the age of 10, nothing to be worried about. Age of 10 also. It's very common. Many girls, hundreds of girls, who are less than 13 and they have reached puberty. Many. It's not common. So once you reach puberty, finish. You may have preference. Okay. The Indian law says 18 years. Indian. Right. Indian law. That's if exactly he was an Indian, say. it would have been illegal according to the Indian law. Exactly. America says 16 years. Now who's right? America or India? I'm asking you the question. 16 years or 18 years? Who is right? According to their law. Ah, their law. <laughs> Is according to the Quranic law. Yes. Very good answer. So this is Very good Quran answer. The yeah. problem is that when America says 16, you have no problem. When Quran says 13, what is your problem? I didn't say no problem. You can Finish. No problem. Thank you. Then we got yeah. the answer. Quran says as long as they agree, there is no problem. In Texas, in Texas. Zakir Naik is getting a bit too worked up for no reason. The American law says a woman should be minimum 16 years old. All right. In India, if a 16-year-old girl gets married, illegal, haram, prohibited. Yeah. In Texas, because the Texans, they marry at an early age, there's a special law for women of Texas. At the age of 14, they can get married. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the answer? Do you agree with the women of 14 years in Texas to get married? Right or wrong? Again, I said, sir, it's the, their law. Their law, correct. Who are you to object? I didn't I'm asking anything. you a question. In America, if a 115-year-old man... Yeah, I don't really like the approach here. As I said already, yes, it is correct. He confirms exactly what I said. You have different law sets and they have different rules. Are they really based upon something? That is the question here. And as I said, no matter which stance you take, there is really no justification either way if you don't accept that stance first and foremost. If you accept the Quran being the word of God, then you will have to stick to it. And that's that. You will find first further proofs within biology that could confirm your beliefs. And within the Western society, you will find a discrepancy because the legal age is 16, for example, but the woman hits puberty with 13, or maybe the woman hits puberty with 17 or 18. So this law is arbitrary at best as well. But that's not really the question that the guy has here. He simply wants to understand. And I don't think that Dr. Zakrnaik is really giving him a fair answer. Marry the 14 year old girl. Is it allowed or not in Texas? Allowed. So when Texas allows, so why can't the Quran allow? Oh, it may not go down your throat, no problem, you don't marry. I don't know whether you live London 12 years or not. Uh, no, I don't want to be. <laughs> but, but even if you let, live, let God wish if it. you don't want to marry, it's your choice. It is the choice of an individual. This is the right what Islam has given, which you want to take away from man and woman. Islam has given that right, they have the right to choose, brother. Okay, may the peace of Jesus Christ be with you, sir. Brother. As far as if you say, may Jesus Christ be with me, I follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. You say, Shalom Alaikum, it's a verse of the Bible from the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 24. I say Shalom. Shalom. It is Shalom Alaikum, it's not Shalom. Peace, peace be with you, sir. It is Shalom Alaikum, it's not yes, Shalom. Yes, it's the same. It is Shalom, Shalom Alaikum. Means it's not only Shalom. I'm giving you the reference. Bible, Gospel of Luke, chapter shalom, number 24, salam. verse number 36. Same. It is Shalom Alaikum. Yep. Shalom Alaikum. Shalom Alaikum in Hebrew, in Arabic, Assalamu Alaikum. May Wa peace as be on you. Yes, brother. But when you said that may Jesus be with me, in what? In teachings or in what? As far as teaching the concern, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now, for he when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. For he shall glorify me, he shall tell you things to come. Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, said, There is another messenger to come, and his name will be Muhammad, peace be upon him. So I'm following the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. That's the reason I'm following the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you don't want to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it is your problem. You can refer to my video cassette, Similarities between Islam and Christianity, you'll get more information. For any I'm question, you can out. go behind the queue and ask me, brother. Please go behind the queue and you can ask me, brother. Oh, right.
guys and this is it for today's video didn't really like the approach of dr zucker nike here what i really admired in him was his patience in the other videos that he always was patient with the speakers always had an answer to everything here he seemed a bit triggered i would understand of course because this question has been posed many many times this is a sensitive subject and this is a weak point so to speak that the secularists or the christians want to attack within islam therefore i do understand the reaction to a certain extent nevertheless i like the calm and collected approach All right guys but this is it for today's video it is long enough as it is if you liked it leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel via patreon for example all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for your ongoing support as always may god bless you all much love and peace